Hey everyone, Professor Akali here bringing you a new video on how to climb in ranked in a new, simple type of style. I apologize in advance to junglers, but this video is centered around laners. So we all know League of Legends is this complex game that has so many different aspects to it, as well as so many different choices and decisions you can make within one game that lead into you and your team either winning or losing. Well forget all that for this video, I'm going to summarize how to win games in solo queue in three easy steps and I'm going to explain how to pass each of these steps. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy this video. So step number one is to win the lane. Now I've always been a huge believer of the saying, win lane, win game, not necessarily because it's true 100% of the time, but because it's true so often. Obviously when you win your lane, by the time mid game and late game come around, you're going to be so much stronger than the enemy laner, giving your team an edge in the fight. But what most people don't think about is how tilting and demoralizing it is to actually lose your lane even relatively hard. So I'm going to teach you exactly how to win your lane, at least most of the time. The very first thing you need to do is a preventative measure, but you need to scout for enemy invades every single game if your team isn't invading themselves. Doing this will make sure that the enemy laner you're going against doesn't get a free first blood, screwing you over hard. Okay now with that out of the way, let's talk about the good stuff. So the first important thing to winning your lane is to either A, know the matchup and how to play the lane, or just B, critically think about how the lane should go. For example, say I'm a silver Irelia top main and I'm going against a Renekton. Well what can I do in this matchup? Now I don't play either champion, but here's what I'm thinking. I can either play safely and start a Dorn shield and run teleport and safely farm in lane, outscaling Renekton late game, or I can try to win the lane by saving my stun for whenever he dashes into my creeps auto attack him once and back off. Also if I see Renekton waste his cooldowns, I can dash in to take a good trade while he has no way to trade back. Now that example is just a basic explanation of critically thinking about how a lane could play out in your favor, even in potentially unfavorable matchups. But here's the biggest thing about winning your lane when you're trying to climb. You need to know how to trade properly. And I don't mean trading life for life, I mean dealing 30% of the enemy's health while they only deal 15% back. I mean making them use up their potions while you don't have to. I mean poking the Annie mid whenever she tries to use her Q or W to farm the wave. If the enemy laner or laners use their cooldowns, you better go in to take a good trade so you can start winning more of your lanes. I always stress in my streams how important it is to take good trades in lane, because that opens up the game to be carryable when you end up eventually weakening the enemy for the all-in kill, and continuously either deny them creep score by freezing the wave, or just straight diving them under tower over and over again. And you know how to learn to take good trades in lane? You master your champion pool, and you master your lane or role. Take a look at this match history from a silver 5 player. Notice how they've played 4 different roles and 5 different champions within the past 7 games. That is not okay if you care about climbing. It is honestly pointless to even attempt to climb playing 4 different roles. Now, look at the current rank 1 challenger player on the NA server, Revenge. He has only played one role and four different champions. Checkmate, Bronzeville players. Moral of the story, you won't win your lane until you know what the hell you're doing. But I bet you're wondering, how do I actually master my champion and my role? YouTube, LOL King, Google. There are amazing guides for every lane and for every role on YouTube in which master and challenger players pour all the knowledge they have about their role and champion pool out of their brain and into a well-edited video, or script. Lately the good YouTubers that have made educational content in the past have stopped doing so, but there are still great videos that they have made in the past. I'll link a personal favorite for each role in the description, but anyways, here's the most beautiful thing about once you do master your role, and your champion, and this is not to brag. When I play Kali, I know almost exactly how much damage I do, and the range in which I can get a kill. If I can get a champion kill in lane that involves jumping on a minion and then flash ult igniting and getting a kill on the last ignite tick, I will be able to immediately recognize the opportunity and I'm not afraid to go for it. I also don't let the fact that I'm outnumbered bother me. If I'm sure I can kill the enemy laner and potentially escape even when the jungler ganks me, I will go for the kill and worry about escaping later, at least in most situations. That is because of confidence and maybe even a little bit of cockiness that most one tricks have. Becoming good with a champion makes you feel like you truly never have to worry about losing lane hard again. And two quick side notes about what I just said. If you're a support main, yes you should probably pick a mage support that can get fed in solo queue and carry like Brand or Velkaz. And for all of you wondering, 
No, you don't have to become a one trick to climb in ranked if you're stuck. It just makes the climb a little bit faster in my opinion. And one final, very important note before we sum up this step is to use your damn brain. I'm looking at you, every single top laner that somehow doesn't expect to be ganked around 3 minutes and 20 seconds. I cannot think of a meta jungler right now that won't gank you if you overextend. Even Warwick these days doesn't suck at ganking anymore. Really just think, if I was the enemy jungler, would I look to gank me? If the answer is yes, then you better have the area warded so you can't get ganked, or just stay back so you can't get ganked. The enemy jungler won't have successful ganks unless you have positioning and vision failures. Also PS, getting solo killed in lane is a sin. It means that you're outclassed and skilled by the enemy laner, and you're also not able to recognize their kill potential. Never get solo killed in lane, unless it's pretty close and you made a miscalculation, in which case it's a no big deal, you honestly should always be practicing playing aggressive. Basically just don't be the guy who stays to try and farm a wave of 20 health and gets dove immediately, making you not only lose the wave but you also feed the enemy when you knew deep down you were probably going to die anyways. Alright guys that's going to be it for step 1 of how to win more ranked games, parts 2 and 3 should be out sometime in the near future, if you enjoyed the video and want to see more of this, please be sure to leave a like down below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any future videos. One final note before I end the video is that I am currently doing a huge RP giveaway with my friend the Glacier to celebrate 40,000 subscribers and hopefully 50k subscribers soon. There will be a link in the description to this giveaway for those of you that are interested. But anyways guys, as always, thank you for watching.